Hi everybody, welcome to Work Life Cyber. Today we are going to talk about risk um, appetite versus risk tolerance. We're still in the mood of risk, so let's just relax and enjoy. Not enjoy the risk. I was going somewhere with it, I promise. But today we're going to talk about risk appetite versus risk um, um, tolerance. And if you don't know what a risk is, you can go to previous videos and check. I think the title literally is risk, but I won't say I will link it up here anywhere because I hardly edit my videos. Um, so, um, risk appetite, and we're going to remember, we're going to bring it down to on earth to layman's terms. Risk appetite is literally the appetite you have for risk, you know, how much of risk you can accept period that's it how much of a risk a company an organization can accept in achieving their objectives now when you bring it to layman's terms it will be you go to i call you and i'm like hey um yoda we want to go to um cheesecake factory and get some food now if you're a responsible person you sit here, whether you're rich or poor, you sit down and you say, okay, as we're going to go, I can only afford 80 bucks because them people, well, 80 bucks, no, I can only afford maybe 50, right? 80, you're being irresponsible. $80 for a meal? You better go to Chick-fil-A and stop going to them che cheesecake factories. Unless you can afford it. Anyway, but I digress. So you tell yourself, as I'm going, I'm going to only spend $50. All my meal, including dessert, including whatever I eat, it must add up to 50. That's my appetite. You know, that is your appetite. You say, I want to eat this, that, that. And you know, appetites can... Uh, 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 what was this? Um, cash in the bank definitely can affect your appetite, right? But so that's what you say you would do. That's all I'm going to do. If we have to, if my food, I knock someone's food over and I have to um, pay for the person, it's still going to come out of this $50. That's my budget. That's it. That's all the food I can eat, all the amount I can take out of my bank account. So that's your appetite. That's your food appetite. Risk appetite here is that you tell yourself that as I go, as we, the organization is working towards an objective. We want a patient care. If it's a hospital, it's patient care. It's, if it's a, a bank, it's client care, right? So with us, in achieving quality patient care, this is the amount of risk we are going to accept. This is our appetite, no matter what, whether there are controls in place or not, whether this, this, the only risk time, it's not, it's not you saying that we are accepting the risk per se. You're saying that, look, if the push comes to shove and the worst happens, this is the amount of risk we are going to go by. This is a budget for lack of better words. This is a, a risk budget we have. We, that's it. So, and this is not, done by information security team or cyber security team you know me unless we are in the vp stage even that you will probably just sit in the meeting and give your subject matter expert advice kind of but this comes from the board of directors the organization board members or whoever the big big people are the vp the CISO, the they all sit down even the ceo yes it's, it's serious they sit down and they say, this is profit, this is our expenses, and this is what we are going to allot for risk, should they happen. Remember, there's a lot that goes on into cybersecurity that meets the eye, right? And if you're at the level of an analyst, uh, even a supervisor, um, to be honest, even a VP, you don't sit in these meetings, except maybe the company just really, you're that good and they want you to be in these executive level kind of, yeah, VP is an executive, but IT VP, you're only, I think, I've never been a VP, but I think they're only in charge of 
um, the IT team and then reporting to the higher. It's the CISO that really sits in these as a C-level kind of meetings. But if you're a VP, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So the leadership, executive level, C-level kind of leadership sets the risk appetite. And that's a whoo. We don't have to say it, and I agree. I like it. That takes a lot of responsibility out of us, right? Because an IT person can say, you know what, we don't have time to deal with this. Let's accept it. But if you are not responsible for accepting this kind of massive, and I'm not talking about, oh, um, no two-factor authentication kind of things. I'm talking about breach, big breach, reputational, and all these heavy, heavy things that go out in the public and then cause the company a lot of money. So this is our risk appetite, right? And it's communicated across the cybersecurity team, information security team, or the, the IT team. That's risk appetite. For lack of better expression, risk budget. This is what we are going to go with. We accept it. Now, again, bringing it to, I still want to bring it one more example in, the, in real life. In your area, your very immediate road has 45 limits. Speed limit 45. That's what the um, the Highland, the people in charge of setting that limit, they say, okay, at this point, we are going to do 45. Any risk that come with speed limit of 45, we will go with it. Now, some of you will go 55, even if it's 45, and you notice that the police won't catch you per se, right? So 45 is the appetite. And then in this case, now I'm moving to tolerance. Tolerance will be that 10%, 10 points, 10 mile per MPH, mile per hour, that you go and they let it go. Now, the, the appetite is um, 45. We say any risk that comes with 45, we, have, we either have controls to prevent it or we are just going to accept whatever happen, come, happens, come what may. Now, when you go 55, which is 10 miles per hour, more than our uh, initial appetite, the police still won't catch you. They see you. They just let you go because even though you're over speeding, you're not really being irresponsible. They can still tolerate you. So that's what risk tolerate, tolerance is. How much exec, uh, an organization is willing to deviate from their appetite? So it's not the same. Appetite is your budget, your estimation. And... um Tolerance is how much you're going to deviate from the appetite. And with tolerance is case by case. Appetite. How much we are willing to deviate from, we have set our goal. Nobody sets a goal for risk, really. But we have put some resources aside or some estimation of a risk that we, we are willing to kind of accept. But how much of we say we we've budgeted five million for risk for this year now we are going over that five million but how much of a five million of a deviation do we want to go so we say okay we'll go another million that's like push comes to shore we want to go over the budget we're going and it's not really budget per se it's resources it's you and i our time everything they put all these together and they say look after this it's okay. We're going to do three things for the tolerance. We are either going to accept, avoid, or transfer. We don't want to deal with it. At, at this point, no. Transfer it to the insurance. Avoid it. Click something. Do something. That's how much they are going to do. So for uh, appetite, there is no avoid, um, mitigate, transfer. No. It's, it's just a budget. It's just an estimation. For appetite, it's like, okay, if this situation has happened, our risk appetite is three million, including your pay, my pay, your time, my time, your resources, your computer, everything is three million. But this one, really, we need to work at it. You know, we must either avoid, tolerate, I mean, transfer or accept, mitigate. We must do something. So, but when we calculate the amount it will take to even transfer, it's above our appetite. What do we want to do? Then the leadership will say, let's just tolerate it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do whatever it takes to avoid transfer or mitigate, or whatever it takes. And it will still not come from us, thank God, our team. It will come from leadership. So risk appetite, when you bring it to restaurant, is your appetite. 
Now you go to the restaurant, how you're going to tolerate is that maybe you bought, um, within your $50 budget, you bought a steak, you bought this, you bought this, and then you realized that, you know, one of the ladies is not getting drinks only because they don't have money and you want to do good. Then it's okay to say, you know what? I said 50 is my budget, but I can do 55. It's okay. It won't, it won't kill me. I will, I can tolerate 55. My budget is 50 out of my entire income. 50 is what I can spend. But if I do 55, it won't break anything. I can tolerate 55 or 58 or 60 even, right? But 65 is a no, no. I will go on a red. I will go overdraft. No, I can't do it. So you tell yourself that and you help that person off. Or you see um, that, okay, your budget really can afford $50 steak. I mean, why? But then you really want lobster. Which, if you add just $5, you can afford lobster. So you tell yourself, you rethink yourself, or you check your account and you realize, you know what, I can tolerate 55 I can tolerate 60 I, But the lobster was $70 just for the lobster. So even though you really want the lobster, you cannot get it because you can't tolerate it. Your budget was 50 and you if the, and if the lobster cry was, um, if the lobster was like 80 um. 55 then you can choose to do it and just drink water right but in this case it's 70 you can't tolerate it i hope this makes sense risk appetite is a set amount of risk that you can accept or handle now risk tolerance is um the amount of risk that you can deviate from appetite so you need a risk appetite to even have a risk tolerance I hope I have made thrown some light into on um, risk tolerance versus risk appetite. You need an appetite before you can even have a tolerance. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any better ways. If you know any examples, put them all down in the description. And um, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you and I can learn together. All right. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>